Hello, you two, Slap and Michael, once I'm free, welcome back to The Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild, episode 35? I think that's right. Now, I know we were over here and over there, the Akala region over here, but the reason we're over here is because I was going off screen to all the stables to look for all the beetles to find, to see if any of them had the electric dragonfly that we need for a side quest in the Akala region. And I found a side quest I haven't done yet. Whoa. It's this, Rito, right here. Hello. Yeah. Good day. You're a Hylian, aren't you? Well done for making it here in this weather. Divine Beast Farmeda was kicking up a storm just a while ago, but he's calmed down now. Mm hmm? Did you need something? How are you? How am I? Can't complain, I suppose. Never mind that, please listen to this. So after a walk earlier and I saw a frost talus. Frost talus? Yes, it's a giant monster made of enchanted ice. I was out running an errand when I saw it. It was incredible and terrifying. It was incredibly terrifying. I believe I saw it over the cold snap hollow before my adrenaline kicked in and fled like the wind. Mm. In any case, it was enormous, but I bet a champion could take it down no problem. Face the frost, Talas. Uh, okay. If I equip that, where is this guy? Oh, he's all the way up there. I'll do that when I actually come over to this region then, so we're not going to go and do that side quest now. But I'm going to, we're going to head back over here, but I'm going to meet you guys over here by Zelda 2, because I'm going to glide there, so beep. Well, that was a close call. Oh! I reckon you're getting almost zapped by everything. Uh, Zelda 2, you were here. Okay. We are now going to work our way towards Terrytown, because, well, that's where the Koroks are, because we are continuing our way to collect all the Koroks and everything. Why am I not turning? Yeah. That's the one, my one little if about this game. Yeah. One little annoying itch, I guess you could say, is that sometimes, yeah. as you're trying to ride the horse, they don't respond and just keep going forwards, either running into a wall or running to a cliff that then they start freaking out, or just to go and jump along first, then getting stuck to a wall. Yeah. Basically, the horse mechanic is a little buggy, or should I say, sticky. Okay. Here's our Korok. Whoa! Run, Zelda Doom! Okay, this one I remember being a little annoying because the rock's actually not nearby. It's somewhere a little bit away. Oh, god damn, I don't want to deal with you. Why do you keep coming close to me then jumping back? Well, this is annoying. Are you gonna die? Now you will. Now they're all dead. Ugh. I hate Stolfos. Now then, we'll stole Lizophos. Where is this rock? Hold on, I think I saw it. Yep. Well, it wasn't this one that I was just seeing, but it's one of them. Actually, it's night time, so... I'll re-equip this. In case you wonder why I'm wearing, I have the Guardian uh, sword and shield to connect. It's because of this lightning storm. For some reason, they don't seem to conduct lightning. Right, Korok Seed. Oh well, the lightning storm should be just about over anyway. It should be ending now. So which means I can fire, switch back to my other weapons and shields. Ooh, Clint. Whatever, I'm going down here. I actually need to see this guy. I might cut this out or or cut cut to the end. I just need to sell some stuff and buy some stuff that he has. I forgot to do that off screen. Well, I don't really want to do it off screen. This is a part of the collectibles as well. I'd like to exchange for some mon. Let's see. Uh, I'll sell a bunch of these. 34. 
Nineteen. Sex to sex. One hundred. And that's all I'll sell for now. Spend some mon. I would like a Bokoblin mask. And a Moblin mask. Oops, I have two of these in inventory. My bad. Uh, actually, you know what? No, I want to buy three more of these. Monster Instructs. Okay, do I seriously have two of these masks? Oh my god, I do. I didn't mean that. I honestly didn't know it was possible to have two of the same item in the in your inventory for armor. Woo. <laughs> well, that's something I'm gonna sell. Okay. Uh, I actually want to switch to my climbing gear. Let me just delete that stamp. I will, like, demonstrate the masks, but once we actually come across either a Moblin or a Bokoblin, then I'll show it. But for now, we're going over here to grab this Korok seed. Stinky River Snail! Where? Someone down there be- yep, there it is, being very sneaky. Okay, this one should take us- yep, start taking us down! Down, down, down. Sneaky river still. Okay, I'll meet you guys back up there. Actually, you know what? Screw this. This, I hate the climbing ones. That's practically upside down. serves me right as well guys inside this river most notably over there by the waterfalls is a type of fish it's like a swift fish I think and they're actually I believe needed to upgrade your uh, stealth gear for like the final upgrade and you need I think it's 15 per so it's about 6 uh, 45 uh, for the full upgrade so you might want to go on grabbing those I'm gonna be doing that after I'm done with this region All right then. Let's get Zelda too. We'll work our way to these other ones. I'm just gonna switch my armor actually into my stealth gear. Hmm. Ah, looks like Zelda two is having a little bit of trouble. Uh, yeah, this way. Do 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 da 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 boo. Hello. Monsters prowl in the dark. Yes. Yes, they do. Okay, Zelda 2, can you stay here? Good horse. Hiding in herbs. Oh, god damn it. Actually, would this work? I don't know if it works when they see you. Nope. Well, they I suppose they're not technically Moblins, but technically they once were Moblins. Nah, I don't know. Hmm, some fire keys. <laughs> really? Fire key swings! I deny you! 
to try to eat me. Okay, I remember, yep, this Korok seed is a bit of an annoying one. Am I still being, I'm being chased. Yeah, you got this goes all the way up. As you can hear, it goes pretty quick. Okay, the next Korok should be whew, right here. Hey, where's this leading me? Ah, it's leading me on the right track. Good. Shields are thing! Uh, oh no! Not body falling! Not body falling! <sighs> okay, I weren't expecting that. Actually, this. Uh, I'll surf on this. Let's go! Well, this works when well, I gotta go zigzag. Actually, so long the night. Let's uh switch up ammo. You wolves can go awu somewhere else. I don't wanna hear it. Ah! Oh. Oh. Yeah. All right. You know what? Have I ever took a picture of this big pig? I have. Then we're good. Ha ha. And there's our Korok. Okay, I know I put this mark up here, but this is basically where it starts, and that's where I prefer to put these marks. So that means we have another Korok right over here. Yep, it's right in front of us actually. Uh, yeah, I got a sledgehammer. Boom! Okay, let's see. Um, actually, I don't. Where's the block? Uh, hold on, I gotta find a block. Uh, let's try getting some height. Okay! <laughs> I'm sorry, I got stunned for a second there, because I was like, okay. <laughs> uh, I can already see, this goes right here. I hate this sometimes. Uh, sometimes it just won't go in. I know this is where you go. I can see it. Oh god damn it! I hate these precision uh, placings. I can see it. This is where it goes. How can I tell? Simple. This hole here is this hole here. But what is this? There is nothing. Up. Wait a minute. Okay, that's maybe not where it goes. <laughs> I'm an idiot, maybe. Um, I'm just. Oh, I found it. It's right here. Stupid thing, get in! Get in! And now it's stuck. Okay, I had you in there for a second. Boom! <laughs> Finally, 10 more Korok seeds as well, and we'll be able to go and get the final weapon sash upgrade. Yes, the final one requires 55. Uh, turn that off. Now, as you can see, we got a pin here for a shrine. But, we got this orb right here. Only a hero bearing the ancient orb shall be granted the right of the trial on blah blah blah. Which gives us the shrine quest. Our objective is to get this orb all the way to the center. And as you can see, we're going to go all the way around and there will be monsters trying to stop us. But, 
There's actually a little bit of a shortcut here if you can get to it. I think you could just like throw the, th the ball all the way across, but I don't know. This might take us a while as well because I will have to fight once in a while. And since I gotta run around this, how about I save you guys uh, some trouble and I will speed this up. So it'll take about half the time for you. So, beep! I don't think I'll put this in music thing. Do I have any um, speed ups? I don't. Damn it, should've made some. I think I'm gonna make some food off screen. I'll make things easier. They're gonna spot me, aren't they? Just don't have them on screen. Actually, you know what? Let's make this a little easier for myself. If they, uh, catch me by sound. Wait a minute, Bokoblins! Guys, I might not be speeding this bit up. Bokoblins, I'm wearing the Bokoblin mask. Let's do this. Yes, there they are. Meep. <laughs> Let's do this. Uh, don't fight me, I'm just a Bokoblin. Look, see, he's coming to me, but he's not charging. He's only interested in me. Gotta watch out though, that Lizardfoss will still try to attack. Uh, don't mind me. Uh, yeah, say I'm just a, a very strange bokoblin. Uh, yeah, do just, you just observe. I'm just gonna walk down. Bye. <laughs> They're still following me, aren't they? Yup. As you can see, these masks are actually pretty useful. I've actually never used it for this situation before, because I never normally get it at this point. But yeah, feel free to get these masks. They are handy. Especially when you just don't really want to fight, and I'm not really interested in fighting these things. Oh, that was close. Okay, put the speed up now. Uh, I think I'm going to be coming across some moblins next. Nope, the goblins. So I'm still safe. I'm just a goblin. 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 I'm Oh wow, that Bokoblin's going into the water really- And he just got flunged off his horse. And he dies. <laughs> I've never seen that before! That Bokoblin just committed suicide! That is awesome! Uh, if I'm back to- uh, uh, Yeah, blah, 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 blah. He don't want to run, he don't want to run. Uh, you follow me? Yes, don't follow me. Uh, okay, I'm gonna get to say this is the best thing that's happened to me all day. This has to be pretty sacrifices. But that's it, really. Okay, memory says you're right. The next thing that's going to be in our way isn't going to be, yep, Moblins. Over here! Get me out of here! <coughs> Bloody Octorox! Am I being followed? Am I safe? By the way, we're done! Alright, shrine unlocked, into the vortex shrine, quest complete. Now then, let's go and grab this Korok seed, which is right over... Meow. Yeah. Ouch. Whoop, whoop. By the way, those electric uh, dragonflies as well. If memory serves me right, you can pretty much find them almost anywhere, I think, but only during a lightning storm. I think. I need to go looking around off screen. I might do that. But for now, let's do this shrine. It's just a blessing! Yay! So, what's our reward? 
A giant ancient claw. Ooh, I like. And let's get our fourth orb. More like 40 if. Okay, now one thing I will say is that if you guys have been sort of following me, but you haven't done any of the Divine Beasts, but now you've gone done 40 shrines, now would be the opportunity that you can go and claim the Master Sword. All you have to do is go and, of course, uh, get your heart from the orbs, and uh, go and claim... Uh, go and see the the statue of bargaining to transfer all your stamina into hearts, and you'll have 13 heart containers. Yeah, so now is your opportunity to do it if you've been following and have not done any of the Divine Beasts, because you don't want to just yet. Okay, I'm going to meet you guys up there by Zelda 2, so whoop! And here we are, Zelda 2. We're back! Whee! All right, we are now going to be heading our way over to, hmm, nobody says me right about this one. Well, I, I, it's one of those ones you actually don't have to do, but I want to show it anyway. So I guess we're heading over to that one. Good Zelda. Hello. <laughs> okay, let's get down here by this mark. Which we did put down for a Hinox one. But it is a Hinox and it's not a Hinox. I know, kind of confusing, but you'll understand. Are we really have to. Actually, you know what? I don't need to fight this one. As I said, it's one you don't have to fight. These ones technically don't count. At least I don't think they do. I'll oh, screw it, I'll fight it. I suppose it's not exactly going to hurt me if I do. But yes, as you can see, it's a stall he knocks. Is it lightning again? It is. No, that means it's raining. Oh, for the love of... I'm getting sick of this lightning. We've had it three times already. Ugh, I'll meet you guys back here. I need to go to the inn. Sleep this day away. Okay, I'm cutting back in now because we're gliding back. Was it due to the fact I can't be bothered bringing in Zelda 2 for this? It's gonna be lightning again soon as well, which is once again annoying. But either way, it's night time. So if we pop over here, we should soon spot. Somewhere over here. There you are. What the Why is it nothing but lightning here? What the Goombas? Now. For this fight, there's actually a really good way to find it. But not just, uh, well, all the Hinoxes, basically. If you've upgraded this, you can do this, this, and then you can just keep on fighting it like that. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much an easy way to fight it. And this fight should be just about over. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Um, let's see if there's anything here I have not, uh... Oh, nope, there is indeed one there. That's the one I didn't want to pick up, because I want to take a picture of it. <coughs> That'll have to do. Okay, we're done here. Back to this, back over here. Okay, for some strange reason, it's not lightning over here. It's about to. I'm gonna go and sleep this night away. 
well, since I'm here as well. You. Good evening. Yes, I've met Clinton, a particular Luke. I see. How strange. Ooh. Seriously, can't thank you enough. Silver Ruby! Side quest done. Okay, I'm asleep in now. Ah. Okay, it's cloudy, but it's not lightning or rain. Thank you. Okay, I think I'll delete this. Um, how about I grab these three and we call this ep uh, an episode? We're already 30 mi over 30 minutes. I don't exactly know how long that is due to the fact I did do quite a bit of speed up. It might be almost like 20 minutes. Not sure. Uh, I don't see anything on those trees. Okay, this core of sea should be just right here. And there's the rock, so not too bad. Yum. And the location is easy enough. Beep. <coughs> All right. Uh, I'll just go down here, teleport, then go that way. Simple enough. Geronimo! Geronimo! Okay, this Korok C should be just over here. Here it is. Um, uh, okay, but I only see one of these things. Um... That's strange. There's normally... Well, there's some rare ore right there. There's normally two of these things right by each other to show you... The thing is... Uh... Well, well hello! Okay, I'm not gonna lie, guys. I don't know where this one is, so... How about I just experiment? <laughs> okay, that probably looks staged. <laughs> it wasn't, I swear. I swears. Okay, beep. Okay, that guy then. That means all we have left is the one core off over here. And we pretty much still got all this to go. Oh my god, that's gonna take like three more episodes in the speed I'm doing this. Ah! Frustration kill! Yeah! <laughs> I know, I'm stupid. Okay, this Korok should be pretty much right where those ruins are. So, simple is enough. Ooh, boom. Oh, maybe not. It's over here? It's right there. Okay. Ah, my mark's are way off. That was a miss. Oh yeah, as you can see, I have over 200 arrows. I've been doing quite a bit of grinding. Uh, I think I'll just hold off right here. Fuck you. Done. And that Korok done. Ah, uh, why the heck not? Let's grab this one. <laughs> I'm a glutted for punishment when it comes to my actual time length of my videos. It's just sometimes I don't feel like I've done enough progress to them. Um, I do admit, I do do a lot of uncut stuff, so I won't deny that. A lot of my content is pretty uh, uncut, except for uh, like skipping back to areas that I've already been to. It's just I'm afraid of uh, going to areas that I haven't been to with like maps or the map names and that that I just haven't seen. Hmm. Okay. Uh, this Korok is somewhere over here. 
Okay. <laughs> gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, go, go. Okay, this isn't that hard. Just gotta run, gotta run, gotta run, 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 Wait. Okay, I think I will call this episode here for that one. So, I hope you guys have all enjoyed. In the next episode, we're going to head off this way. We'll probably... Uh, I'll make sure Zelda 2 is right by us. But yeah, we're going to head off this way, start collecting these, and work our way around to keep getting them. But from the looks of the marks, we're done with shrines. So, all the shrines in the Akala region is finished. Or the Akala Highlands. So... Hope you've all enjoyed. See you in the next one. Bye bye! Aren't you just a jingle? More like tangle. Sorry. <laughs>